fashion has evolved. Our students, you know, they're able to convey that message. That's what makes fashion so special here. I want to tell my story and express it through clothing, and it just like... My story is about a woman who lives in this concrete treehouse. My collection is an underdog story. I'm excited to share my story and who I am. Fashion design is a form of self-expression. The ability to curate how people perceive you is a really powerful tool. I want people to be able to hear what I have to say. We're innately wanting to tell stories in our lives, and this is just our way of telling them, conveying that message through fashion. Fashion is a tool for storytelling and sharing. What kind of materials do you have access to? Why did you stitch that stitch? What better way to tell a narrative than through your clothing? Employers are no longer hiring based on grades or GPA. They're hiring, especially our students, because of the stories that they're able to tell. Jefferson designers all have their own career path. They want to design different categories. My friends want to do lingerie and activewear, avant-garde. Streetwear, dance costumes, graphic tees. I like mixing textures. I just want people to see my work and be like, I love that, I need it in my closet. I'm becoming the designer I'm meant to be. And of course, it's only the beginning. We say they're professionals and we treat them as such from the day they get here. Each professor really cares about each and every student. I feel so connected with all of our professors. Their encouragement really helps us all come together as a community. Our students learn to work with others who have related but yet different skills. Jefferson allowed me the opportunity to collaborate with two of the textile majors. We collaborate and we create different fabrics based on you know, our vision and our designs. The partnership between textile design and fashion design is extremely important because this is what's happening in the real world. We need each other. We need to bounce ideas off of each other because that's what pushes you to greatness. I think the fashion industry, that's what it's really about, being able to talk and collaborate with people. You're not just doing it on your own. Our designers can make more than what they imagine when they work together. It's more than the sum of its parts. We all strive to be better humans. We all strive to find our place in the world. And that's what I want for our students, to figure out where is their place. Beyond just fashion, what does it mean to be you? I had a dream. The world was exploding and I lifted myself off the earth and I jumped to a new planet. Parallel universes and other dimensions and aliens. It's all these realms colliding. It's this burst of like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. It sounds really crazy. And I think that's kind of what my collection encompasses. It really is telling the story of self-expression. I believe in this and I am okay with being that person. The ability to be yourself no matter who you are. My name is Kinley Lingenfelter and I am a fashion designer. My collection name is The Other Side. It's chains and straps and buckles, but then mix that with like the wonderful bright colors and funky prints. It's the most colorful collection you'll probably ever see. Like artsy streetwear that's also professional and maybe a little bondage. That's kind of the beauty in fashion. It's kind of like modern art. A lot of people look at modern art and are like, I don't get that, that's stupid. It's not really meant to be got sometimes. Sometimes it's meant to just be there and exist. And I think that's beautiful too. It is very difficult to find textiles in the market that fit my aesthetic. So I actually created my own print and then I created a zero waste textile where I was able to use all the scraps. And then Jefferson allowed me the opportunity to collaborate with two of the textile majors, Emily and Didonia. And Emily created this beautiful knit for me and Didonia a beautiful print. What I've learned the most at Jefferson is that your possibilities are truly endless. You can literally go and be and do exactly what you want. Life is so fragile and not being 100% you is wasting it. And so I decided that I'm going to be myself and I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do and I'm going to chase my dreams. 
that no matter what I do, I'm going to be successful at it and feel beautiful and be stared at, but be excited about being stared at. My granddad, he's always been a really big part of my life. He was a social worker. He cared so much about people, people who didn't have as much as him. And he started to develop dementia. We're seeing someone we know is like so smart, so strong, fade away. He was someone who wanted to help people. And I think I latched on to that. He did it the best way he knew how. And I think I try and do it the best way I know how. My name is Medea Trude Williams and I'm a fashion designer. I'm an avant-garde designer, so everything I make is like big and bold and crazy. You don't have to pay admission fees for fashion. You can just make it, you can just own it, you can just have it and like everyone can see it. It's like you're your own exhibit and I just really love that. I really wanted to honor my family and I wanted to honor my granddad. And I really wanted to reflect kind of this idea of nostalgia, of like you're a little kid playing in your granddad's closet, trying on his clothes, and they're all oversized, and they're all like, like too big for you, but it's so comforting. One thing that's great about Jefferson is we can collaborate on like textiles. I'm fortunate enough to have a jacquard, and the student I collaborated with was uh, Sinead Cahill. Um, she's like a fantastic designer, and she made it look like an old newspaper deteriorating, which is like what my granddad reads every day. The most important thing that Jefferson has taught me about myself would be that it takes time to just get everything right. They've taught me everything is a process. I'm really trying to change the way that people think about fashion. Democratizing fashion is what I'm about and what I'm here for. I want fashion for the people. I want fashion for everybody. My collection is actually an ode to my father. He's very motivating, very strong, but so caring and soft at the same time. He's just like an amazing hard worker, entrepreneur, like literally the strongest person I have ever met in my life. He's this mechanic and car lover at heart that drives a truck. You would never think there is some super glamorous parts to his coming of age, like going to Studio 54 and seeing Madonna and having this like glamorous fun. Wanted to combine two things that you wouldn't think go together and create a beautiful collection representing him and his life and truly what he stands for. I'm Hannah Holton and I'm a fashion designer. I kind of like toying with feminine versus masculine, like your traditional ideas of like what they are and mixing them together. So kind of like clean and modern with this unique twist. Having a huge attention to detail just changes the garment completely. Different stud work that I have, different embroidery touches on all of the looks. It's about having the wearer find all those little details and grow an appreciation because of all of those things that they found that's special in it. One of the greatest things about Jefferson is getting the opportunity to collaborate with different textile designers. I was able to collaborate with Lily Cartwright and we created a custom knit for my collection. I thought it was just a great opportunity because that's really similar to what we do in industry as designers as we collaborate and we create different fabrics based on you know, our vision and our design. When my dad sees my collection for the first time, I hope he feels proud. He inspires me every day to work hard and how could I not? pay that respect back to him, I do it for him and for how he did it and how he showed up for me. I want my dad to know that none of this would have been possible without him. I feel like the world is my oyster and like I'm gonna change the world. This is a very serious business, a very significant economic undertaking. The return on investment dollar for dollar for your design education comes back to you many times over. Our students are getting this top-notch education and they're getting jobs even while they're seniors here in school. I have a job lined up to be part of a design team with GK Elite. I actually just signed a full-time offer with three people and I will be a design assistant for their bottoms team. 
It's your willingness as a designer to connect with the world. That's what actually guarantees your reward in the end. We can change the industry to be more compassionate the way Jefferson is. This group of fashion design students wants to change the world. They have a really specific focus and it's much more than putting clothing on a body. They have dreams to really be industry leading. They have these really high aspirations and they keep pushing against that ceiling of how do we get there? Jefferson fashion designers are pushing the boundaries of where fashion design is going. It's beyond design. It's what do you feel and what do you want to see in the world? I want to make clothes that people care about. I want to push the boundaries in making plus-size inclusive non-gendered clothing. I always want to include that part of me, my culture, in it. Designing with purpose. The sustainability. I'm trying to create something new. Democratizing fashion. Customizable items. Different body types. I want fashion for everybody. I'm going to chase my dreams, and no matter what I do, I'm going to be successful at it. I hope people looking at this video realize that you can applaud the fashions you see now, but you haven't seen anything yet. There's not one straight path to get to your goal. Life is about learning. So I think just being open to different things and being open to whatever the fashion industry throws your way, take it, try it, you'll surprise yourself. Your time is now. Make it happen.